Hey everybody, we got a quick tech tip video today to talk about the shocks on the sprint car and the midget. The shocks are the same on both cars, so this will cover uh, both the cars if you have one or the other or both. So the shock itself is a friction shock, so it has no oil inside the shock. When you get the cars, they will have a little bit of uh, lube on the O-ring, but if there's not enough or if it's dried out, uh, you may need to put a little bit on there. So if you push up and down on the suspension, you notice one corner pushes up, it doesn't come all the way down or doesn't come down very easy. Uh, or if you're driving the car and the car wants to like hop when you turn really bad and it's really hard to drive, you probably have a stuck shock. So this we'll cover that in this video how to correct that. So when you take the shock off the car, you'll take the screw off the top, uh, off the frame and then you'll just uh, you can just turn the shock sideways and it'll pop it off the ball stud on the bottom Take the shock apart. Just pull up on the spring the spring cup will come off and Then just take the spring off if you have any spring collars or spring adjusters on here take those off as well So to get the cap off the cap is just a snap fit So what you're gonna want to do is take a pair of needle nose pliers and just grab the eyelet of the cap right, right like this. Now don't squeeze very hard through any of this process of taking it apart or putting it back together because if you squeeze too hard you will distort this and you can ruin the cap. Um, you know and make sure, just make sure you don't squeeze too hard. That's, it's really important on that. If we do and you, and you mess up one of these we have the shock plastics uh, available on our website if you need to replace those. So to take the cap off the shock body you'll just grab the eyelet and then just turn, just kind of push sideways on the shock body and the shock shaft and it'll just pop the cap right off just like that. So it's just a snap fit. So let's set the cap aside. And then what you're going to want to do is you've got to get to the O-ring inside. Now, if you push the shock all the way up, you'll notice that the O-ring and the piston doesn't come out. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to unscrew the rod end a little bit. And the way to do that is we put a slot in the piston here. So you can put a little straight screwdriver in there. The easiest way to do this is just grab a really small straight screwdriver that you may have or you can get it to your local hobby shop and just put, put it down inside the shock body, uh, find that slot down there on the piston and then just unscrew about three or four turns. You don't need to go all the way. If you go too far the, the rod end will come off, that's fine, you can screw it back on, but you don't need to go all the way. So then when you push up on it after you've unscrewed the rod end, you'll notice that the piston comes out and you'll notice the little black o-ring there. So, oops, sorry, we get to little better shot here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put some lube on that o-ring. Now when you pull this out you'll you may notice if that o-ring is trapped or pinched between the shock body you may need to replace that o-ring and we have those available on our website but sometimes you can put the oil on it put some lube on it and you can get it to go back down in there with no problem. So for lube or oil, you can use any lightweight oil, but uh, we found some greases that work really good. This is a grease made by Losi. Uh, it's O-ring grease, shock O-ring grease, and specifically made for O-rings. And then here's another one. It's made by Team Associated. It's called Green Slime. You can get these at your local hobby shop. Uh, if you don't have a local hobby shop near you, you can always uh, you know check online. You can get them online somewhere. So to, to put the lube on these, you're just going to put a very small amount on there. So if you just squeeze a very small amount of this out of the tube until it gets on the O-ring just like that. And then just take the, the tip of the, the dispenser here and then just rotate it around the O-ring. And just make sure you cover all the O-ring. Get it nice and lubed up there. Don't matter if you get any on the shock. It actually helps getting a little bit on the shock body for it to go back in. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, as you pull the shock shaft back down, just grab the rod end and just lightly rotate it and then just pull down really easy and you'll feel that o-ring just easily slide back inside the shock body and just move it up and down a few times and it'll it'll kind of smear that grease around and just rotate the shaft as you're doing it as well you'll just feel it get nice and free as you do it so after you do that then you're going to want to just take a little piece of paper towel or something or a rag and just wipe off the excess grease around this snap area because if you have grease on that snap area it'll want to pop the caps off easier so just wipe that nice and clean then you're going to want to make sure you take the screwdriver, put it back down in there, and you're going to want to tighten the shock shaft up. Now go really slow on this, and you'll feel it bottom out. If you go too far, you could strip that out. Again, we have the shock uh, rod ends online uh, that you can purchase if they're stripped out. Uh, you can also, if it is stripped out a little bit, it'll work fine. It won't pull out. Uh, you know, there's quite a bit of grab there on those threads, but... Um, but if you like I said if you do strip it out we have those available online 
So after that's screwed in, then you're going to want to put the shock cap back on. So you're going to want to grab the eyelet again with the needle nose. And there again, make sure you don't squeeze this too hard. And to put this back on, to snap it back on, you're going to just hold it to the side. Try to get you a good picture of this. So you just get one side started, and then you're going to want to keep pushing on that side and just push on the other side at the same time, and you'll feel it snap in there. Once you get it snapped in, just rotate the shock body, and it'll rotate in the cap, and you can make sure you got it nice and or seated very well. If you don't have it seated right, it'll pop off. Just do this process again. So there again, before you put the spring and everything back on, just make sure the shock operates nice and free. Uh, again, you can rotate the shaft around a little bit, smear that grease around in there. Then you're going to put the spring back on, and then put the shock cup back on, and make sure the shock cup is seated all the way down and then just let the spring go down and then just there again just make sure it operates nice and free and you should be good to go then you can put it back on the car and um and see how it feels it'll uh, it'll make the cars drive a lot better uh they won't hop with you know over the bumps as bad or anything and it just drive much easier uh, if you have any questions while you're doing this or any questions on different things on the shocks uh, or anything on the cars for that matter hit us up on our support email uh, make sure you keep watching our website and social media pages for new products we got coming soon. Uh, and thanks for watching.